Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm good. I'm chuckling because Discord's got some sort of Halloween <laughs> stuff. I was just going to comment on that. I was like, ooh, it's very scary. <laughs> I was figure what that was. I got a, I got just like a one alert, and it reminded me to go through and mute all my other channels so they don't beep in while I'm uh, while I'm recording. And it was like, la, la, la. And then it's <laughs> I was like, oh, I see what they're doing. Okay. Nice. Well played, Discord. How are you this morning? I'm good. A little uh, congested. We have a high pollen count here today, so I might... You sound a little throaty and congested. I, can... I will not lie. I'll try not to sneeze into the microphone. Hey, it's your mic. You do what you need to do. Yeah. Uh, you can clean it out later, right? Yeah. Well, we're back. We're back with the uh, replay of scenario number four, Yankee Blitzkrieg. And as always, this is the second playthrough, if you are not aware. So stop here if you've not watched the first one, because there will be spoilers going ahead, because we've got a few things to discuss on it. But this is now the opportunity for us to swap sides. I'm going to take the Confederates now and kind of play on the defense, and Raj will be taking the Blitzkrieging Yankees for this one. So we're going to dive right in. We're going to have a little bit of discussion here right off the top, but if you want the specifics of this scenario, that is, of course, in the first playthrough. So if, you, uh, if you've if you not seen this one played before and you don't know how it works, go check that one out first. But as always, my partner in crime, Roger, here today. You've had a week to think about this and to and look at my stuff. Do you have anything off the top of your head that you want to you wanna talk about? Not really. I think it's going to come down to... Uh, I'm going to try something a little different, but it's hard to... I think they kind of script this out pretty much. It's hard to say. I mean, there's, there's a lot of point options, but I think there's a definite way to play this particular scenario, I believe, as a union. I could be wrong. So we'll see. I don't want to give away too much from our last episode, but uh, I will try something a little different, and we'll see if it works for me. Well, that's always good. Um, certainly, and you have notes because we've we've heard you reflect back on those notes before. There were playtest play notes on this one, so we could talk about that at the end when we look at the scenario as a whole in both of our plays of it. The one uh, little correction that we had that many people pointed out in the video comments on the previous one, and thank you very much on that, was our discussion that you and I had had, and I edited all that out, was the nature of the units in Jackson when they do need to surrender. And uh, thank you to the uh, eagle-eyed spotters that found that in uh, the basic rules for Thunder on the Mississippi, I think it's uh, 7.6 in those rules, that do specifically indicate the units that need to retreat out of Jackson are not eliminated as we did. So Roger actually did better in the last game. So we eliminated, and I got, gave five more manpower losses to myself for doing that. They do not surrender. They just... As I expected, they just hide away over the bridge, right off, oh, off okay. the map, and no harm, no foul. They're just out of play. So whatever I had last time, <laughs> subtract five from it, and that made it even better for the Confederates on that. So that's certainly going to factor into my calculus today. If, uh, if they get completely surrounded, that's a different subject, but that is an impassable swamp off to the north. So there's there would have to be some way that the Union could get in there, either through building bridges or whatever, but we will address that as it comes up. Otherwise, I think we did okay. I don't know that we had anything that uh, warranted. There were some definitely some strategic tips that were pointed out there, Holger, of course, and things about my approach to Raymond that I think uh, maybe will help you in this playthrough. But otherwise, yeah, it's a dicey affair. It's five turns, but there's a lot of dice, like every game of great campaigns. But with the random events and the order of the random events certainly being a factor, I, I, I got some critical fumbles when I did not need critical fumbles. And I, I do love that in the editing. I was like, was it that bad? Oh, it was that bad. So it's always fun to just put that out there, warts and all, for everybody to see. But uh, I'm ready to get started if you are. Um, I am, yes. Uh, I'm just, uh, I pulled up the uh, the notes here for myself. Um, I think the only thing I needed to constantly remind myself here in turn one is that I'm subtracting two from activate leader. And uh, that means either zero 
if the uterants are activated or negative one if they self-activate and uh, yeah we don't do random events until turn two so I think we're ready to go would you like to do any leader transfers to start off I don't believe so at this point uh It'll help me any, so no, I, I have no leader transfers. I didn't even consider it, but I'm stacked. Loring stacked, Stevenson stacked, uh, Bowen and Pemberton are stacked. So yeah, I don't. Uh, I could move him out to. Yeah, it won't matter. I could do that on the activation. So yeah, I I will not do anything. So if you'd like to give us our roll for first initiative, we'll be underway. Good luck to you. Yeah, good luck to you. Sure. Here we go. First initiative goes to ties. Low ties. Those are your, that's union. Oh, ties is union. Okay. Jump back and forth between different names. Forget. McPherson will activate Logan and Crocker. It's just a plus one for me. I think no changes. There we go. They can go six hexes, six movement points, I should say. So they're going to go one, two, three, four. Five, six, and Crocker will follow along behind. Initiative. That's yours. Uh, attention has been paid right out of the gate. You are, you are making the better approach to Raymond, as it might turn out. Well, learning lessons from last time, I'm going to... I'll activate the third Kentucky. And I'll attempt to get some cavalry action going here. So here's movement. Uh, they are not affected by the movement shortage so here's movement plus one wow go kentucky these are th wow. these are thoroughbreds up here uh we'll go get them separated here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen wow okay initiative that's yours Okay. We'll have McClernand. We'll activate Osterhus and Hubby. Just those. Oops, dang it. Just those two. There's their movement. They can go three. Hubby will go first. Uh, McClernand will stay with the stack. One, two, three. Osterhus one and two because it's Los and. Initiative. That's yours. I will have Loring activate Tillman, Buford, and Featherstone. They will go to one. Here is their movement uh, straight up. Five. Okay. I'm going to have. Featherstone, cross over Baldwin's Ferry. So that's a penalty of, I think it's a third. Uh, so that's two to there. Three, four, and five. Yeah, we'll go with Buford. He'll go one, two, three, four, five. And Featherstone, one, two, three, I don't know that he has enough to get in there because it would be three points. So they will just stomp right there. Initiative. That's yours. How many movement points did Buford use to cross? Uh, two. Uh, oh, you're right. So, yes, that would be uh, all of his then. So he could not cross because it would be two, three, and he didn't have enough. So. Uh, looks like he's just going to stay right there. Thank you. Good catch. Oh, it's mine. Okay. Have McClellan activate all four of his divisions. Here's their movement. They have four movement points. McClellan will march with A.J. Smith. Hovey's going to go first. One, two, three, and four. Ostrus, one. Two, three, and four. Uh, AJ Smith, one, two, three, four. And he's just going to follow along behind. 
uh, initiative. That's mine again. The colonel will activate all four of his divisions. So Hovey and Ostrus will need to extend marches. Here's their movement. Ah! Way to go, McClurland. He'll stay with AJ. McClurland will stay with AJ Smith. Hovey. So my movement point allowance is two. Here's Hovey's extend plus one. He's okay. He can only go two hexes. Yeah, I don't want to do this. Don't need to force march just yet. One, two, Osterhus extend. He's okay. One, two. And AJ Smith will go one, two. Carl will go one, two. Initiative is mine again. Well, I think I need to go ahead and push these guys one more fatigue. Here's their movement. It's not paying off, is it? I'll transfer McClernand up to Osterhus. Here's Hovey's extend plus two. He's okay. He's going to go one. Two to there. Here's Osterhus's extend. He's going to flip to disorganize. One, two. AJ Smith plus one extend. He's okay. He's going to go one, two. Cars extend. He's going to flip to disorganize. One. Two to there. Initiative. That's yours. I'll activate Loring to do Buford and Featherstone. We'll go to two. And here is their movement. Zero. Plus zero. Five. Okay. So Buford will go across the creek with Loring. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. Featherstone, one, two, three, four, and five to there. Initiative, that's yours. Pearson will activate Logan and Crocker. Here's their movement, plus one. There we go, finally, somebody decided to march. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Crocker's gonna follow along behind. Uh, initiative, that's mine. I'll have Sherman activate steel and tuttle. One. Two, three, one, two, three, initiative, yours. I'll have the first Mississippi march. Here is their movement. Five, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Initiative, mine, have them again. Movement eight total. You'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep them there for the moment. Initiative yours. Pick Logan and Crocker to T3. Here's their movement. That's my third one for movement, I believe. Well, I'm not going to force march this. The first will stay with Logan. Here's his extend. He's okay. He can go two movement points. One and two. And here's Crocker's extend. He's going to flip. Yeah, this is just not turning out the way one would like. One, two. Initiative. That's mine. 
Hmm. Well, I have Sherman activate Steel and Tuttle. Here's their movement plus one. Five. One, two, three, and four. Tuttle, one, two, three, and four. Initiative. That's yours. Let's get these units up here moving. Uh, I will take Cockrell and Green with Bowen. Here's movement straight up. Two. One and two. One and two. Initiative. Yours. My cavalry moving here. Six Missouri. Straight up die roll. Eight. He's going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. Initiative. Yours. Uh, I will take the 3rd Kentucky again. Here's their movement. 7 total. Let's go ahead and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 to Harpersville. Initiative. That's yours. Take the 4th Iowa. Straight up die roll. Six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. Yours. Take the 20th Mississippi. Movement. Eleven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Initiative yours. Take the fourth Iowa again. Let's see just how far north you can get here. Six again. Two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. It's yours. Back and forth. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> We're shadow boxing. <laughs> uh, 20th Mississippi movement. Seven. Uh, I'll take them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And no penalty. Seven. Initiative. Mine. Vaughn really is a thorn in everybody's side. Just sitting there in the way. Uh, so we will have Steve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that was really annoying. I, Stevenson I, will march everybody. And here's their movement straight up. Two. Uh, probably not the greatest thing. But we'll send... Barton and Stevenson out first. One, two, and everybody else will just do a one hex move to there. And initiative yours. Six Missouri, two dice, eleven. Wow, somebody finally decided to actually accomplish something. I get down there. I don't. So we're going to do one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Initiative. Mine. Let me zoom out, make sure I'm not missing somebody. I'm going to pass for the moment. Okay. 
I will march the 3rd Kentucky one more time. Movement and extended march is okay. And we'll just occupy Crystal Springs. Initiative, mine. Alright, what else do we need to get moving here? Everybody. Uh, we'll have Bowen activate Cockrell and Pemberton. Excuse me. Activate Cockrell and Green. Movement. Mm, slow and steady. <laughs> one, two, and one, and two. I think, you know what? And two to there. Initiative. Mine. Stevenson and everybody again. Movement three this time. We'll go one, two, and three. And one, two, and three. One, two, three. One, and two. Initiative. Mine. I think I'm going to hold up and see what the, our first random event is going to be, so I'm going to pass. I've got enough damage for my marching today. I think I will pass as well. Okay. So, hitting recover. Everyone is recovered. Time has moved forward. Okay. Just under 30 minutes. Moving right along. Alright. Take the first thing, which is our random events. So, uh, it is likely going to be your random event, so why don't you roll it? Okay. It's a five, which is delayed Confederate reinforcements. It always seems to work out, doesn't it? Alright, so... You add, you add one to your die roll. Add one to my die roll, okay. So, let's uh, let me look at my chart here and see who I potentially get. Let's so I need a one or two now, basically. So here's my yeah. reinforcement attempt. Hey, all right. Start, okay. Get Walker. Walker is the first one. And he comes into Jackson, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Jackson can begin fortifying. All right, and then it's time for leader transfers. I'll take Grant to McClernland. Sherman, let's see, is he within? McClernland's within one, two, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the only move I'll make. Okay. Go ahead, some personal direction here. Um, Loring is fine where he is. Stevenson's with his. And Cockrell, yeah. Pemberton will stay with, or Pemberton and Bowen will stay with Cockrell. So, yeah, no changes for me either. Uh, let's see, you did the first roll last time, so here's our first initiative. It's yours. Well, we'll have McClernand activate Hubby. We'll activate everybody. Osterhus, AJ Smith, and Carr. There's their movement plus one. Oh, that's better. Much, much no better. Grant and McClernand will transfer to Hubby. Osterhus will go first. Here's his extend plus one. He's okay. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six to there. R will go next. He'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's Hubby's extend plus one. Dang it! <sighs> so he'll go one, two, and he'll have enough to make a prepared attack against Tillman. 
So this would be a type of a plus one, tactical of a plus one. Ratio now is only a plus one. There should be a grant bonus, but there's not a grant bonus. There's no terrain. I have four guns to your one. So uh, artillery is covered. I have all six hexes covered, but two are going to come off. Is that correct? The Loring will come off, obviously. And this is a minor river without a ford, so that comes off. So the final flank is plus two. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be one, two, three, final plus five. Plus five. Here we go. Plus five. There we go. Uh, here's my defense. Okay, so it is a uh, plus eight on three. It's two DR, double DR. So take them one, two, three, one, two, and one, two off. Nicely done. And I got two right out of there. Okay, so first one needs to be away and by road, potentially through a friendly. So there, that's one, two, three, four, and then we will take them. They have to go five and six away to the safety of the other side of the river. I could just advance. And we'll stop there. And my movement points was seven with AJ Smith. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Uh, initiative, that's yours. Well, I have an idea now how we're playing this game, too. It's going to be bloody. Give me blood! Or something other than ones! Alright, we will have Bowen activate Cockerel in green. Here's their movements. Uh, now with plus two. Six. Green will go one. Oops. One, two, three, four, five to there. Cockroll will go one, two, three, four, five to there. No, we'll do six to there. Initiative. That's low ties. That's yours. We'll have McPherson activate Logan and Crocker. Here's their movement. Four. Uh, McPherson will stay with Logan. So one, two, I have two movement points remaining. What would First Mississippi like to do? They will do a cav retreat. And they're going to flip. So currently they're at a minus two, but they get the plus one for the creek. So they're a negative one to this roll. And no effect on you. So one, two, three, and four to there. We'll go one and two. Crocker will go one, two, four to there. Initiative, yours. I will have Loring activate Featherstone. Here's movement. Two. We'll transfer to Featherstone. We'll go there. Initiative. That's yours. Take the fourth Iowa. Of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to Auburn. Initiative. Source. Bowen will activate Cockrell and Green. So 
movement. Five. Green will go one, two, three, four to there. What would the fourth eye would like to do? You have five movements, so you have one left. Four to there, yeah, I have one left, uh huh? That'd be a hasty attack. We'll stand. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll make a plus four attack on there. So it's a four to one, so that's plus three. And that's two more for tactical, and that's up to five. And then down one for hasty, so a plus four. Mm -hmm. Here's plus four attack. Nine. <laughs> that was a gamble. Paid for it. Fourth Iowa is gone. gone. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, yeah it has to gone. be. Yep. Did you put a button check? So that's going to be a delete and a manpower loss for me. And I just use my last movement, so I stay there. And then Bowen, Cockrell, and all them will just go overland to there. Initiative. That is high ties. That's mine. Um, Loring will attempt an assault on Osterhaus. So he will take Featherstone to two. There's the assault attempt. It does come off. We will now request a grand assault from Pemberton. It does not come off. So what I see is uh, plus one for assault, plus one for tactical. I've got ratio covered, and I have one, two, three, four, five hexes covered, but these are all going to come off, so no flank. There's no artillery, excuse me, there's no terrain, and then you've got a an advantage on artillery in rough, so it's a die roll. Here we go. Even used. It's not used. Okay. So I just see plus two attack. Yep. Okay. Here's the plus two attack. Ah, here's my one. Oh. Negative one. Negative one, yeah. Negative one on six is a one D, so I give you that back. I'm a two F. You did lose one? I did lose one, yep. Oh, okay. So there, and he loses one. And he's done. Okay. Initiative. And you do have the option for a voluntary retreat if you wish. Hmm. Let's see. Is it, what is it, one to two hexes? It's one to four. One to four. You would have to go to 3303, though. That's the only... Yeah. If I pull out of there, then that's going to... Yeah, I'll stay. Uh, here's the next initiative. That's mine. <sighs> I'll take green to three. Here's movement. Two. Here's extended march. <sighs> Flips. Tell you, man. Best laid plans. He will just go over land to there. Initiative. That's mine. All right. Bowen will attempt a, an assault on A.J. Smith with Cockrell. So Cockrell goes to three. Here's the assault attempt. It does come off. Uh, Pemberton will try a grand assault. It does come off. So Green will participate. He'll go to four. And now we have plus one assault, we have plus one tactical, we have ratio covered now. I've got a plus three final flank. That's what I see. The only one that comes off is Osterhus. Right. And then you've got another die roll in rough for artillery. Oh, all right, okay. You know, I thought you had that covered, but you don't. It's not used. Okay. So I see a plus five. Yep, that's what I see. Here's plus five attack. <laughs> two for two. <laughs> Set six. Uh, to get some more route. Yeah, all right. 
No man, uh, no, eight. no man power loss. I don't think, right? Is there? Uh, I don't four. think for you. For me, there is four on eight. Oh yeah, there's one. Okay. And you're a nine, so you're below the. You're in seven yep. eleven, so I'm gonna lose a manpower. Pick up three fatigues. It is a route. He's gonna lose a manpower. Uh, the one dr. Yep, I think I did all that. Uh, I have to retreat. I do have a retreat further away by road for one, two, three, and four. You know what? I'm gonna go five and six to there. Okay, and I will uh, take the hex there, and I'll leave green where he is. Initiative. It's mine. Me. Okay, we'll have Loring activate Buford to one. Here's movement plus two. It's five. We will transfer to Buford. And they will make an attack on the march on Osterhaus. Okay. So it's going to be very similar. One for prep, one for tactical, uh, three for final flank. I think it's exactly the same. Yeah, and well, you've got the artillery option. Okay, here we go. Ah, finally. Okay. So down to plus four. So down to plus four. Uh, no train, no nothing. So here's plus four attack. It's an eight. Plus five result. Yep. On a five is a two DR. Wow. Okay. Well, playing it this way was stupid, wasn't it, Roger? <laughs> <laughs> Two DR off top. I think there may be one on retreat. Yeah. Uh, there may be yes. Um, and he gets a demoralization marker. So I have to go. You attack from Loring. So I have two options for further away. Um, that are the same. I could go thirty one oh three or thirty one oh three. Then the question is, if I go further away by, I'd have to go into there, or if I go that way, interesting option here. Kind of gamey, isn't it, if I go that way? I'm going to go here and lose a manpower. Okay. And just keep in mind on that gamey tactic that it's undemoralized for capturing stuff. Yep, okay. yep. But you got a while, so I figured that might be your thought process. Two, further away. Three further away, four further away, and five, and now I can come back across. I'm not any closer for six. That's good. That's not good at all. <laughs> so that cost me three manpower, is that right? It was two off the top, and then one more, yeah. So I show right now you've got five, I've got three. Five. Five, yep. Okay. Or sanguine. Well played, sir. Oh, well played. Thank you. I will not take the hex, but I, uh, I have a point left, and that's fine. I will just leave it as is. Initiative. It's mine. Okay. Any initiatives? That's the problem. Yeah. Well, let's. Um, I could have gotten one of those. I might have been able to reverse the situation. Let's <sighs> have Stevenson activate everybody. Here's the movement, plus two, six. Uh, he can go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. He'll go one, two, three. And he's got six. So that would round down. So he can make it across there. Five and six. One, two, yeah, he, he can get there. And then Reynolds. Go one, two, three, four. And cannot get into that space, so he'll stop there. Initiative. Mine. Oh, S Stevenson activate Cumming and Barton. Here's movement. Five. Steven 
Robinson and Barton will just go there. And Cumming will go one, two, three, four, and five to there. Initiative. That's high ties. That is mine. Yeah, I'll have Lee and A.W. Reynolds march. We'll go to two. Here's movement plus two. Yeah, it's terrible. So he'll go there, and AD, AD, Debbie Reynolds will just cross. Yes, initiative. That's low ties, that's yours. Finally, jeez. Making you sweat. This has just turned into a debacle, hasn't it? Of Sherman activates steel for marching. Obviously marching. Plus one. Six movement points. He's going to go one. Two, three to there, and he's going to stop. So we're just going to do initiative. That's mine. Sherman will make an assault attempt on Stevenson. So this will be plus one to this die roll and low strain. It's a five, so that does come off. And he will ask Grant for a grand assault. Plus one. It's a four, so it does come off. We'll bring in car. So the type's a plus one. Ratio is a plus one. I have five guns to two, plus three in los, so there's no effect of the artillery. And there's no. Do I get a plus one flank because of the swamp? So what I see right now is you got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's plus two, and then this one will come off. For a flank of a plus one, right? For a final level plus three. First tactical is even Stevenson. So plus three attack. I'm committed to this aggressive posture, so it's a seven. Okay. Here's defense. It's a plus five. Slightly better than a one. So plus five. I have six, so I lose two DR. Bringing it back up to parity. And boom, boom. Two losses. And we have to go away. Not by road, but farther away. Does that incur a loss? No, I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Yeah, it's an empty Zoc. Okay. That's one, yeah. two, three, and four. Initiative. That's mine. Okay, Sherman will activate steel. Here's his movement. Here's his extend. He's okay. He'll go to there. Initiative. That's yours. Well, sir. I'll have coming march. Here's movement. Five. Extended march. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> Bastard. He flips. So, I'm not going to send him to there. Well, you couldn't just hold it together for a second. Well, I guess this makes the most sense to try to go that way. Initiative. Alright, that's yours. Of Sherman activate Tuttle. Here's his movement. Five movement points. Sherman will transfer to Tuttle. I'm not going to attack across that creek. We'll go one, two, three, four, five to there. Actually, you don't have a Zoc from me because of the Los. So you can go one more. Oh. Oh, okay. Correct, yeah. Uh, initiative. That slow ties go to me. Sherman will take Tuttle. Here's his movement. Six. A man possessed. So yeah, we'll go one, two, three to there. No attack. Initiative. That's mine. Take 
R to T3. Here's his movement. Six. Here's his extend. That's plus two. Mm -hmm. So he's okay. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. It's mine. Terminal attempt at assault against green. Here's the attempt. It's a five. Sherman is a six, so it does come off. So this will be a type of a plus one, tactical of a plus one. The ratio is 11 to three, so that's three to one for a ratio of plus two. And I now have five hexes covered with none coming off for a flank of a plus two. Uh, I only have two guns to your one on rough, so I believe that's a die roll for you. Yes, on even, artillery is used. It's used. Artillery is going to be a minus one. So it's six up and one down for a final of a plus five. Plus five. Okay. It's an eight. Here's defense. That's uh, another plus five. Okay. That's enough for a manpower loss on that. Plus three, plus five. Yep. Six. All right, so lose a manpower. Goes demoralized. He's already fatigued out. He has to go one away. Yep. Two away. Three away and four away by road, and then he will stay there. I will not take the hex. Uh, initiative, that's yours. We do, we do have a mess going on here, don't we? <laughs> Very. They can't say we don't do things differently. That's scenario true. To scenario. That is true. <laughs> Should put something on the end of that one saying the next one's going to be very different. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's see if we can't get frisky here. I'll have uh, Lee self activate. He'll go to three. Here's movement. That's fine. Here's extended march. That's fine. He will go to there. Uh, initiative. That's yours. Take the six Missouri. Go six. He's gonna go one, two, three, four to there. Initiative. That's yours. I think I'm gonna pass. There's nothing I wanna do at the moment to tighten things up, so go ahead. Okay. Let's see how the six Missouri could do with a roll here. It's an 11. So let's have a little cavalry battle. Sabres clash. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be pretty straightforward. Types plus one. I'll be a prepared. I've got enough for prepared, which is eight movement points. And ratios plus one, so a plus two attack. Mm -hmm. Just for the fun of it, really, is all this is. It's a four. Here's our noble defense. Hey, it's a plus one result. Yep. So a D to both of us. D to both of us. Like I said, I'm kind of committed to an aggressive posture. Initiative. Double sixes. That's yours. I'll pass. Crocker's exhausted. T1. I think I want people to recover, so I'm going to pass as well. Okay. Here is our sunshine recovery. There we go. I just noticed that third button there was the recover all units during CSA paralysis, which is kind of cool. Good job, Alberto. Uh, we are on turn three. Um, 
I guess we're ready for our next random event. So let's see what we get here. I'll roll this one. Okay. That's a four. Accelerated. Yep. Accelerated. So you get a minus one, I think. All right. So here's my next roll. So one, two, three, or four. I get my next one. Uh, that is. Where is he on the chart there? That's a. Uh, Evan. Quit. Oh, it is called quit. Okay. Yep. And he goes to Jackson. All right. And let's see. All of my units are released now. We got Vaughn and Green, or Greg, available. Vaughn and Greg. Awesome. Okay. So leader transfers. Sherman go to Steel. So I'll leave McClellan where he is. Grant. What creates for Grant to Tuttle? It's going to be it for me. Okay. I'll move Stevenson to A.W. Reynolds. And Pemberton. We'll come over to Stevenson. Bowen will stay where he is. And that is all for me. So, there is, uh, let's see, my turn to do, no, I did first initiative last time, so it's your roll this time. Okay. It's yours. Okay. The Raymond only gives you the four points if you get it this turn. Um, the other Okay. So let's see if we can't hold out here a little bit. Uh, Greg will go to one, and he will march, and he will put up a flanks refused. Initiative. That's yours. Uh, Sherman will take steel to Teague one. Here's his movement. Six. No extended march needed yet. So go one, two, three... Four, five, and six to there. Uh, initiative. That's yours again. Uh, I'm going to have Vaughn march. <laughs> ah, I forgot about him all last game. <laughs> he dug in and he was my... He's your rear guard. Uh, here's Vaughn's march. Oh, that's why. Uh, one <laughs> and two. Initiative. Have mine again. We'll take Vaughn again. Here's movement. Jeez Louise. One, two, and three. Initiative. Mine. Peace, come on. I know. God. I'm getting to, getting to believe those people who say there's got to be a limit. Of course, I had a string of initiatives last last day, too, so I can't really say anything. Uh, okay. So, Vaughn is there. We're not going to press him too hard. He's brittle. I'll get coming, moving back. Four. He's just going to go over land to there onto the road. Initiative mine. All right. So, what do we got here? Let's have the 20th Mississippi march. They're not doing anything back there. Come out of entrenchments. Here's movement plus one. Six. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, and six to there. Initiative. Mine of coming march. Here's movement plus one. Four. That's fine. We'll go extended march. He's okay. We'll go one, two, three, and four to there. Initiative. Yours. Uh, we'll see if we can get out of here. I'll have McClellan activate Hovey. And car. There's their movement. That's what we're talking about. No, one, two, hope to get the next initiative. One to there. Initiative. I do. Okay. Well, McClernand activate hubby car again. Here's their movement. Oh, man. Alive. Car's going to go first. 
Carlin's going to stay with Hovey. Here's the extend march for Carr. Four plus one. He's okay. I'm going to go one, two to there. We need, we need another pip. Here's Hovey's extend. He's okay. He's going to go one, two to there. But he, he could go another hex, couldn't he? Because I rolled a three for movement. So I'll take him to there. Initiative. That's yours. I'll have Loring activate Buford. Here's movement plus two, seven. He will go one, two, three to there. I have four left. I think I'll just hold off on that initiative. That's yours. We'll activate Crocker for movement. By himself, he's too far away from McPherson. Here's his movement. Man, what the heck? One initiative. It's mine. McPherson will activate Crocker and Logan for movement. Plus two, so they have six movement points. Uh, just plus one for them, right? On, yeah, plus one, yeah. I want it to be plus two. Of course you do. <laughs> Person's going to stay with Logan. Crocker's going to go one, two, three. So you have two remaining. And he'll make a normal attack on Greg. Because type zero, tactical's even, ratio is 10 to 6. I have plus 3 artillery, and there's no terrain. I get a plus, oh, I get a plus 1 for your flanks you're fused. So this will be a plus 1 attack. Plus 1 attack. 4. It's defense. It's plus 2, you get me out of there. Plus 2 on 6 is a DR for me. Oh, it's a 1DA for me. Yep. Good, okay. So we're back tied again at 6. And I have to go... 1 away. Get rid of that. And... I'll go 2 away there. And I lose 1. And I flip to disorganize. Pick up two more fatigues. Okay, and I could advance into the hex. To enter gives me... Get the four instantly. Four instantly. Which I'm going to do. I'll advance into the hex. And person will go one... Two to there. I'll stop there. Initiative. That's mine. Yeah, how's that creek go? Is that creek? No, it doesn't. It's okay. not the hex side. So, yeah, McPherson will make an attempted assault on Greg. Edwards is at the end of the. Yeah, all, all three of those are at the end. Dang it. I've not been thinking this through right. Okay. That's my mistake there. Yeah, I should have gone the other way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate Logan for movement. Okay. Plus one. <laughs> okay. He's going to go to there. Because he has to stop. Initiative. That's me again. Yeah, we'll take Logan to fatigue three. Here's his extend. He's okay. He can go three. So it'd be one, two. So he's... You know what? I'm going to force march him. He'll flip to disorganize. Here's his force march additional roll. So he's got three to start. Here's his force march. So he picks up another four. So his total now is seven. And he's going to lose a manpower. He's going to go one, two, three, four, and five. 
initiative. That's mine. Really I'd like to do an activate army leader right now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate steel with Sherman. I'll need an extend march. He goes five movement points. Here's his extend plus one. He's going to flip, which is why I didn't want to do this. It's going to go to there. Initiative. That's yours. I will have coming march. I'll go to three. Here's movement plus one. Six. Here's extended march of plus one. He's okay. Go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative. Yours. Yeah, we'll take steel to fatigue three. Did not want him to flip. Here's his movement roll. Oh, it's five. Well, maybe it's that change what I want to try to do. Here's my extend plus two. He's okay. We'll make a prepared attack on coming. So I see a type of a plus one, tactical of a plus one, and a ratio of a plus one. That's right. For a final of a plus three, because there's no creek, there's no flank, there's no, I've got artillery covered. Yeah, let's try it. That's a nine. You're so lackadaisical. Eh, let's try it. Let's see what the die roll can do for me. Eh, it's a six. All right, let's see what kind of big defense I can mount for this one. Yeah! Because there you go. Vassal die roller loves Patrick. It's plus eight on three. That's two DR. Double DR. So I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Alright, and one, two, and I give you two more, because why not? This game, man. Alright, coming. One away, two away, three away, four away, and they'll keep going. Five and six away. Sherman will stay put. Uh, initiative. That's yours. Hey, there's mine. One second too late. All you can do is try. Bowen will activate Cockrell. And they will go... Six. And no extended march needed for them. So they will go there. Initiative. Mine. Stevenson will activate Lee and A.W. Reynolds. Here are their movement, plus two, seven. Pemberton and L Stevenson will transfer to Lee. And they will go one, two, seven to there. A.W. Reynolds will go one, two, Three, four, five, and six. Initiative. Yours. We got ourselves a standoff. I'm going to pass. I don't like the options here. I think I see what you're going to try. I'll let you do what you're going to do, I think. I will pass as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It was a show. Of <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen us get this set up where it wasn't like programmed in the game. Right. right. In the scenario. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just figured that, you know, you're, you're, you're going in one of two directions. So I either need to build a wall and try to sap you of remainders. But Tuttle is quite strong there. So the fact that you didn't make a play on the center here was a little gratifying. So. That's fine. I'll, you'll take the path. I mean, I'll, I'll end the turn. Recovery first. So we will hit recovery. Everyone recovers. That freshens yeah. me up quite a bit. And you, let's see, will now get eight points for Bolton. So that's going to take you up to 12. 
you have 12 total points plot uh, in victory point locations. I'm going to go ahead and convert these over to yours since you have them. We are on to the next turn. So we got two turns left. Critical random events. We haven't seen rain. We haven't seen water. So you roll a four and it's... So I get another minus one to this roll. So minus one is three, which is enough. So now I get Maxi, and I do have Crystal Springs, right? Yep, I don't ever occupy it, so it's okay. yours to get. All right. And he goes to Jackson. Yeah, well, he's a big boy. Okay. So he might be useful. All right. Uh, leader transfers. I'll transfer Grant to McClernand. Should leave Sherman where he is, I think. Or do I want to put him up at Tuttle? I'll move, bring Sherman up at Tuttle. And McPherson will stay where he is. That's it for me. I'll bring Pemberton down to Loring. I think that will do for me as well. Okay, so uh, first initiative roll is yours, I think. It's yours. Okay. Have Loring activate Featherstone. Here's the movement, plus two, six. And we'll go one, two, three, four, and five to there. Initiative, yours. I'll have McPherson activate Logan. Here's his movement. Three. One, two, three. Initiative. Mine will do activating AJ Smith for movement. He can go six. I'd like to faster out. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. Initiative, that's yours. The 20th Mississippi March. Go 10. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to there. Initiative, mine again. A Vaughn march. Here's movement. Four. One, two, three, four. Initiative. Vaughn again. Movement. Two. One, two. Initiative. Mine. Green will march. Movement, four, one, two, three, four. Initiative, yours. Oh, take AJ Smith again. Movement, six. Unbelievable. One, two. And I think that's a minor river. Yeah, yeah it's a Baker's Creek. Uh -huh. Three, so he has four remaining. What would the 20th Mississippi like to do? Um, they will... I'm sorry, he has three remaining. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, you're still seven to one, so yeah, we'll get out of there. Flip. Minus two to this roll. Okay, so you lose two. One, two, three, and four. One remaining. Yeah, we'll cozy up to Edwards. Uh, initiative, it's yours. We'll have the 20th Mississippi March again. 
There's movement. Eight. We'll go uh, extended march. Okay. One, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative. It's low ties. That is yours. I love Logan March. Here's its movement. Five. Here's its extend. Four plus one. He's okay. So they'll go one, two, three. He has two remaining. What would the 20th Mississippi like to do? And they will go. So that's minus four plus one. So negative three to this roll. And nothing, nothing to you. So they'll go one, two, three, and four to there. And I'll cozy up to Vaughn. Uh, initiative, that's yours. Green March. There's movement. Three. Go. One, two, and three to there. Initiative. Yours. Well, I think I better take a shot. McPherson will take Logan to T3. He'll attempt an assault on Vaughn. It comes off. So this is going to be a type of a plus one. Tactical is going to be a plus two. Finally get a decent tactical. Ratio is plus one. Uh, you have a four to zero artillery and rolling is nothing. There's no terrain. So final is a plus four. Plus four. Ah, wow. That's the second I, or third six I've had today. So you got, uh, you got a ten and I'm going to roll. Yeah. So plus seven on... Three plus seven on three is one dr. So, I think that's game. I'm done. <laughs> you got it, sir. You got it because you're gonna get me. Uh, let's see. So six. That's ten plus. You're gonna get Edwards. And there, I don't know that in a turn and a half I'm gonna be able to get you out of there. Sorry, Holger. Sometimes do the mathematical calculus here, but yeah, I I can't mentally keep dealing with the sixes on, on attacks and you're doing so well on those you're setting them up and uh no i think i'm done so i will i will generously hand my sword over to you because you're going to get but let, let's let's factor the all this stuff in here so you got uh you got a 10 and i'm going to roll you're going to take that and that gets you closer so let's go one down one two three that is a demoralized. I will give you the point for that. So that takes you to nine versus six. I got it by three. And then I have to go away. One, two, three, four. And we will go ahead and go into that. Uh, actually, we'll go into Negro quarters there. Uh, so go ahead and take that. You have to have that at the end, but I just, I can't foresee that I'm going to have the whole, because you know what's going to happen. I mean, we can, we can just put this right there and write it and it will happen. It will be rain on the last turn. A gentle rain will fall and that will prevent me from getting up close and getting him out of there. But I think I've seen enough of this scenario at this point and I'm ready to discuss it. But I think it's a, it's a hard fought battle, fairly won. I think you're just... You're coming out on top on each of the combats, and uh, I, I think was it has it been three sixes on combats? Is it, at least. I think there's been at least three. Yes. Yeah. Look at yeah. Well, I, well, of course, in editing, I will like I do. I will put them into my own little spreadsheet and, and show them here for you now. This one was actually a little more uh, obvious. Well, let's let's talk about the session, then we'll talk about the scenario, and then first of all, let me congratulate you because you've you've taken both of them, so you've you've swept the series of both of these. So you've won on both sides with two very different techniques for the union. Obviously, uh, that is something that you and I like to do, and I applaud you for trying the up close and personal version of the Union approach to 14 Mile and 5 Mile Creek. I thought that was uh, 
great. I thought that was a wonderful counterpoint to my maneuver centric of, hey, it's Blitzkrieg, let's go as far as we can, as fast as we can. But do you have any particular thoughts on this this play today that stuck out of one versus the other? Since I would have played it, if I was just approaching this and we hadn't done the first session, I would have, well, other than the fact I rolled multiple ones on day one, I would have done exactly what you did. I was, that was, but I felt like since you demonstrated that, that I wanted to see what would happen. If I went for Edwards and Blackbridge right away and then basically tried to hold you off and then pick up these other guys, not by accident, but that was sort of my plan was to use McPherson to grab Raymond and use Sherman and McClurland to uh, get, past Baker's Creek. I, my original plan, <laughs> because I rolled so poorly, I was figuring I was going to be crossing up here, you know, get you to defend down here and then swing around, but I rolled so poorly that I ended up having to cut straight into you and attack uh, Tillman. Yeah, because uh, I got a great roll. I was like, well, I can start right now. And then, of course, you countered pretty aggressively, which surprised me that you countered it so aggressively. I think I had one failed grand assault and one that did come off, and both yeah. of them were surrounds. So the plus three flanks uh, was the only reason that I was setting up some of those. I felt mm-hmm. like I had to meet your force with counter force. So that was normally I would not do that, kids. But uh, there were some good opportunities there. I had the strings of initiatives. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Like, I'm uh, I, you're going, boy. I'm really on the side of these guys saying you got to limit how many issues you can get. <laughs> right? I, I just needed, I just needed one of those to either get out of the way or, or set up my own. And it was like, man, this is just going to be a disaster. You yeah. Know, when you, took... when you, the first, I think the first, the opening salvo was you, you hit Tillman here and you could see the mm-hmm. results. He was very demoralized and we sent him back to, you know, the, the farm league to just rest and recover. And at that point, I was like, okay, so I I was playing the terrain game. So I was trying to figure out, all right, where can I get something here? And then I brought Bowen down, and that was that was telegraphing, or when I brought Pemberton down into range. So you could see that at least I could make an ass- an, a, a couple of grand assault attempts. And 50-50, I got one. I did not get the other one. And it, I think that woke you up a little bit because I, I shattered two full divisions, yeah. Master House and, and AJ Smith, uh, got them out of the way. So those first two action packed turns were looking uh, pretty good. We were on parity, I think with, with manpower losses. And then I think it just all started to crumble when you said, okay, I will, I will bring Sherman back here to go after Stevenson, which you did. And Barton was sent away. And then coming got trapped, and that was unfortunate. But then I was able to set him up and possibly do a flank, and then you got the next initiative, and that was that was the first big six that just drove me crazy because yeah. it's like, ah, come on. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I think just the tempo of this one was really cool. That it, went, uh, it, it went back and forth. I think you and I had some ideas of how we wanted to prosecute this one, but for all of the concentration of of blood and effort right here in this part of between 5 Mile and 14 Mile Creek I thought was a wonderful uh, counterpoint to what we did last time. Uh, Raymond, I think, we, and if we're transitioning the talk into the, the whole scenario, I think Raymond is just a, it's a timer. It's a waiting game. The only thing that Greg has on his side is uh, the approach which we saw, you know, I kind of fumbled, you did a better job, but then you also got the the critical one right here when you needed Crocker to be able to get around him. I, I think if, if the random event of rain or the water crisis comes up, as it did for me, while McPherson's attempting to approach, that certainly helps. Uh, I think with all the elements there in play, it's almost assured that that by the end of turn three, I think the union is going to get those four points. Yeah, it has to I go really, so. really badly between poor movement and random events for them not to. So I think that four points is guaranteed by turn three, but you know, it's, it's an incentive. And if you don't, you completely ignored crystal Springs. So you took two points off the table, uh, 
opting to get them in manpower losses, which I thought was a wonderful choice uh, this time. Uh, but that gives me the option of getting Maxi, of course, as I did, but that was not a factor late in the game. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, this one, there's so many little teeny tiny elements. We've, we've talked about them all in the moment that have come up. Die rolls for a five-turner, they seem particularly swingy on this one. But you also demonstrated the ebb and flow where... Turn three, you've decided you're going to rest some folks. They've they've gotten to their breaking point either through combat or movement, and you're going to rest them a little bit going into turn four. And then we all came back, and then so there's there's high water mark, then a little bit of rest, and then the crest of the next wave. So it's got a little bit of everything, but uh, I'm I'm still not sold on it because I think if you tap out one side completely. My turn four, as you saw here, you know, I, I'm now I was like, well, I pull back off the line. I try to get up here and McPherson just got great movement, great strength. Well, not great movement, but he, he got going good enough. and it, good enough. And then now you've got pressure points between AJ, AJ Smith got two sixes back to back. Yeah, he, he was, he was the mirror. He was, the he was the MVP. Was, oh yeah. Yeah. I, I wasn't expecting to get, I was hoping to get him at least across so I could maybe go after Edwards next turn. But since he got up close, I thought I could gamble and get Logan up there. And now I've got pretty good strength up there for you to worry about. And oh, now definitely. Yeah. You'd have to pull back and then. And there's no easy way to do it without coming all the way around because I can't just cut here, but it works both ways. Neither can you. So we've got yeah. this, this crush zone that is it's friction. So neither one of us are going to move. I put Featherstone here to, have a relief outlet against Osterhaus for just the easy one, but now he's stuck there preventing Osterhaus until you pull away. Uh, so th it, it is very balanced, I will give you that, but unfortunately with such balance comes the extreme impact of strings of initiatives and the combat dice rolls and the random events. I don't think the random events were particularly significant in this one. They they helped me get reinforcements back to back, but they were way out of the way and not a factor. If you had actually been going to Jackson, that would have been critical, but it was not in this game. Um, what was the other one that we got? Delayed. But oh, you, the delayed. You got right. your, di I you got got your die roll anyway. Right. right. So oh, delayed yeah, and so two. Yeah. So it was all about reinforcements. And, and I'll just comment on Crystal Springs. I kind of had written it off, but I completely wrote it off when I, I, I said I was going to see if you were going to go if i don't go after it right away will you not go after it right away and you did and i think you rolled a 12 i or did 11. the first the first <laughs> one 12 yeah so they got 13 yeah, at that point i was like okay i'm not going to go after it at all at that point because well, it was and i kind of thought I, when you when you put the six missouri here i thought that was a feint you know you were trying to was. get okay so i, I wanted to see if you would kind of move away from it but you just nah i'm gonna do this you did the right thing and just took it off the board and then I thought, well, I'll use my little cav units to try to set up some flanks. Right. But and then by eliminating the Iowa boys, uh, yeah, you took that was the a big Iowa deal. Guys. I figured that you was know. was coming, and that was uh, that was my my good fortune on this one was, oh, you're not going to retreat? Okay, I'll attack. <laughs> uh, well, I wanted to, you know, I was gambling that maybe I could get a D result on you and and take you out at that point. Of course, I decided to have a little fun with the cab on cab sure. fight outside Raymond at that point. Um, I will uh, say, I will say on the cavalry ones for me personally, uh, if it's a one, I'm probably, uh, I know Dave Cross is out there. They, they had that wonderful little uh, workshop about it a few years ago where two is the magic number on that one. So if you've got two, yeah, go ahead and stand. You tend to stand on one. I will not stand on one, but you stood, and uh, and it cost you because I got a plus nine when all of a sudden done. Yeah. So again, I was just hoping hoping to get at least a D on you. Uh, didn't happen. That's all right. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this one either. Uh, if you look, I'm just gonna bring up the play test results. This is scenario blitz. It looks like it goes pretty even, but it's kind of hard to tell because they made some significant rule changes on this one as, as they were playtesting. Well, I will say in ours, uh, it is 
particularly even because <laughs> both the Union and the Confederate have won. So there you go. Random events appear to be very important looking at this. As you mentioned, the Union got hits with rain at a crucial time, so they weren't able to grab Raymond. And that's really kind of the hard part is at the start of the game. How hard did the Yankees have to push? Um, I felt like I had to push them pretty hard because I was rolling ones for movement. Yeah, but I did like um, the fact that I, I could see that you were setting up for the long game. You were putting everyone in a position where you have a strike force for 12 points at the end of the game, but you got to commit to that early, as you did, and if things go particularly well on Confederate defense, they can make you really pay for it. But yeah. in, in those cases, we stayed pretty close on manpower until you started to pull away on mine. So. A good... Good session. It was good session, and it, uh, we're at two and a half hours raw, and we played, I think, between the last time was three, I think we did two, two three and a half, close, so we've shaved an hour off just the raw playtime because we know what to expect, and we, you know, we can sort, sort of pull those levers a lot faster, so that's why I appreciate the second one. Whether it gets the amount of views and everything, don't know, but I, I, I'm glad that we have these comparative setups where we're doing it a little differently but uh we will leave it here with roger's victory uh, by concession but you know let's let's be real here it was not gonna go so well for me <laughs> uh, but we will move on to scenario number five next time and uh we hope you all have enjoyed this please let your thoughts be known down there in the comment section if you could take a moment and click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed we always ask that uh like button bell all that good stuff and if you wish to contribute you are more than welcome. I've got a link down there to uh, buy us a little coffee. Put a little tip in the tip jar. There's our current supporters. Thank you very much to everyone who does. We love the support and enthusiasm that we're getting. Those of you that are writing now longer comments down there about you know things that we've uh, messed up on, that's perfect. That's wonderful. That's exactly what we need because that helps everybody that watches these after the fact. And uh, Final thoughts, Roger, before we move on? Looking forward to the next one and uh... You just have a great week. You too. <laughs> uh, even though I, even though it didn't go well, I'm still invigorated, and I always enjoy it. So, uh, for all of you out there, get out there and play some great campaigns, and uh, have a great week, Roger. Yeah, you too. Bye bye bye.